bell, brand new shoes, walking blues, climb the fence, books and pens. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Walk with me, Susie Lee, through the park and by the tree. We will rest upon the ground and look at all the books we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. Safely walk to school without a sound. Here we are, no one else. We walk to school all by ourselves. There's dirt on our uniforms from chasing all the ants and worms. We clean up and now it's time to learn. We clean up and now it's time to learn. Numbers, letters, learn to spell. Nouns and books and show and tell. Playtime, we will throw the ball back to class through the hall. Teacher marks our height against the wall. Teacher marks our height against the wall. We don't notice any time pass. We don't notice anything. We sit side by side in every class. Teacher thinks that I sound funny, but she likes the way you sing. Tonight I'll dream while I'm in bed when silly thoughts go through my head. About the bugs and alphabet. When I wake tomorrow, I'll bet that you and I will walk together again. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends.
favorite memory was at elementary was whenever I got written up for the first time. I was in third grade and Noah probably remembers this. We were messing around in the playground and I bit him and I got in a lot of trouble and I was very upset that day. My favorite memory was in sixth grade in the elementary whenever we had to be quiet at the cafeteria and me and Tanner Gary got written up for laughing. When Greg and I were in elementary we had some pretty bad hairstyles. Yeah what were we thinking? I had a mullet and Greg had. I had really long blonde hair we and had, I was fat too so it didn't help. We had no friends. Yeah, no one liked us. I remember when in fourth grade I threw up in a trash can in Mr. Greenidge's class. <laughs> I remember when in fifth grade I broke my ankle in gym class and Mr. Spinden had to carry me to the nurse's office. I remember in third grade I got pneumonia for like two weeks. I had to force Nick to do all my work. Uh, one memory from elementary that I have is me and some friends were playing hacky sack in Miss Leskovitz's room and I kicked really hard and my shoe flew off and put a hole in the ceiling and it's still there to this day. I remember that I used to think I was so fast and I would race Tanner Gary, usually win, you know, and then I raced Alex Baker and he beat me and he called me a donkey and I cried. Um, some things that I remember about elementary school were um, the carpet squares and um, I think there was a game in music class about passing a penny, uh, the Japanese tea party in Mr. Brooker's room, uh, the medieval festival, um, always wanting to go to Miss Walker's and Kirby's room because it's air conditioned in that trailer, um, the eco columns that we made in Mr. McVicker's room. Uh, the poetry readings in Miss Peniza's where we had to like snap for applause. Um, I don't know, just general fun, I guess. Walking in lines, I hated that. I think we all did. But um, that's what I remember. My favorite elementary memory is when me and Tanner were dating in fifth grade and he didn't talk to me once. And then we both ended up at Bell High's and they made fun of us for dating and he told Nate to break up with me. And Nate came and told me, and he rode away on his Razor scooter, and I was screaming for him to come back. I remember in elementary school, we were lining up to go to lunch, and for some reason, the teacher, for this one day, didn't line us up alphabetically. Cause I'm, usually I'm last, because of the last name White. And Taylor Love threw up all over my back, and I had to go to lunch with throw up all over my back, and my mom came and gave me a change of clothes. It was really embarrassing and I smelled awful. My elementary moment was during basketball practice in fifth grade when I tripped over Travis Stranisha's feet and I landed on the ground and then Alex tripped over me laying down and hit his teeth off the ground and busted his two front teeth and his mom tried to make me feel bad for it. <laughs> elementary, I have the memory of being in sixth grade in science class and Tanner Gary said, I need a girlfriend. I agreed and he asked Desiree, will you be Ron's girlfriend? And it lasted for seven months. I was going to hit Nate Lash in the eye with an eraser and he cried. I'm going to get red. I remember when I was in elementary and I got way more women than I do now. <laughs> 2012. Um, congratulations. I wish you guys the best of luck in the future. Uh, I had you guys in fifth grade, and that was one of the first few years that we did the coffee house. It's great to see some of you took it a little bit farther and took leads in some of the plays and the musical. Hopefully, your experience doing some oral presentations with your poetry lead you to f further successes. I hope you remember it 
and it's a pleasant memory, not one that brings chills and fear into your into your soul. Hopefully you'll have a great success in college and I look forward to seeing you guys coming back and sharing with all of us everything that you've accomplished. Good luck. Congratulations 2012. I cannot even believe that you're seniors. Uh, you were such a memorable group when I had you in fourth grade. Remember math races at the board, our secret pals, um, all the other wonderful things that you, we did together in our fourth grade classroom. Good luck in college. I wish you all the best. And uh, I hope you just go on and have great lives because you all deserve it. You were really spectacular. Hi, I would like to say congratulations to all this year's seniors and wish them well as they go on to other adventures. Specifically, one of the adventures that I remember happened during sixth grade science camp when an unnamed student steamrolled one of the other students named Ian who eventually then had to move out of our district. Last, I would like to say thank you to all of you for always supporting your favorite sports team, the Pittsburgh Panthers. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, here's, I'm Mrs. Gary here. Um, I really remember this class a lot because Tanner, of course, was in this class. Um, some of the things I remember from this class was, uh, well, one thing, Jesse Merkel, when, um, I was trying to do a little song and I thought I had taught that class and I said, if it can't go, and you're supposed to say, you put a zero. Jesse Merkel said, well, I'll go back. I said, if it can't go, and she put, it can't go. And the whole class cracked up laughing because she had no idea what she was talking about. So that was funny. Um, I remember kickball. I remember um, a lot of you guys could kick the ball way, 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 way past the, uh, the playground equipment. Um, I remember the white boys when I told the joke about being organized, which if you remember, that really was code for constipated, that um, both, both the white boys would run around asking all the teachers, are you organized? And of course, it was funny when they would go, oh, of course I'm organized. I'm always organized. I love to be organized. So it was kind of an inside joke. So you started that. And every year, I, I tell the story to my students and tell them about the white boys. Um, so anyway, it was really enjoyable having all of you. I think you're probably the best class I've ever seen come out of Fort Cherry, and we're really going to miss you guys. Hi, this is Mrs. Crawford, and I'm in the beloved squishy chair. One of the fondest memories I have of this year's graduating class is when I was teaching. I was in the third grade classroom. We were self-contained, and one of the exciting activities of that year were to be selected as Star of the Week. And if you were Star of the Week, of course, you did get to sit in the cushy chair. And you also got to share something with the class. And I'll never forget this memory, but as a part of that activity, Alex was our Star of the Week, and that would be Mr. Baker, who brought in and shared with the classroom a baby lamb. So it was an eventful day for all of us in the room to have the baby lamb join us in class. Thanks, and good luck to all of you seniors as you take on this new endeavor. Congratulations, seniors. What I remember the most about the class of 2012 was that you were the very first class to start what is now a Fort Cherry tradition in sixth grade, and that was our tribute to our veterans of the armed forces. Uh, we do recall Tanner Gary playing the Star Spangled Banner on the guitar. Uh, I recall Jesse Merkel playing a very stirring rendition of the song Taps on the Trumpet, and every sixth grader having a part in making a very special day for our veterans. So that will always be a big part of your legacy. And once again, congratulations, and have a great life, 2012 class. All right, let's go. My specific memory of this year's senior class when we were in sixth grade English, second period, couldn't stay awake, and they were always chasing the angry shoppers looking for prune juice. When they were in fifth grade, I remember that they really did not like boiled peanuts. When we were studying the southern colonies, I brought in boiled peanuts, and only two people liked it. Is the light on? 
I would like to wish all of you 2012 graduates best of luck in all of your future endeavors. One thing I remember is when all of you guys were here, we had such a great athletic class, the way you guys all participated, and I think enjoyed most of the things you did here in elementary school. I would again like to wish you all the best of luck, and again, good luck in everything that you choose to do. Thank you. You've got a friend in me You've got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed You just remember what your old past said Boy, you got a friend in me Yeah, you've got a friend in me You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together, see it through. Cause you've got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am Big and stronger too Maybe, but none of them Will ever love you the way I do It's me and you, boy And as the years go by A friendship will never die You're gonna see it's our destiny you got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got a friend in me When we had our brownie wars in DC and we just knocked on people's doors and threw brownies in their rooms <laughs> Uh, definitely my most memorable junior high moment would be how perplexed I was that no one gave a crap about our football team, even though we had a very mediocre record. Um, you know, I just, I figured out later down the years that, you know, no one really cares about 13 year olds, you know, playing football. Uh, I also remember, uh, the hot chicks, you know, they were walking around in Uggs and, and jogging pants. And that was, that was really encouraging for me. Um, I remember lunchtime where we'd go and uh, Miss Bramer would write us up if we sneezed. Yeah, that was kind of fun too. And uh, I just remember growing up in this school and being happy. That's probably the most memorable thing. One thing I'll always remember is watching the Super Size Me video in Mr. Center's class. It made me sick for months thinking about McDonald's. Um, probably my favorite junior high memory would be that was the birth of the, my Jufro, which I no longer have. But I'd have to say seventh grade when I threw my blue slushy at Adam Friday and started in a whole so fit fight. And that was, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a dark moment in my past, but it's probably my best memory that I have. It's like the one that sticks out clearest, so. Uh, I remember being a young adolescent teen thinking that I was cool by drawing facial hair on my chin and or cheeks with markers. Uh, terrible idea due to the fact that getting them off was near impossible. But um, now that senior year has come, God has blessed me with this beautiful red beard even though I have blonde hair. But uh, hey, what can you do? I'm Irish. Um. I was really afraid of all the bigger kids because you hear about how like they're so much older and like when you're 16 you're so old but um, now that I'm here they're still all bigger than me but <laughs> we're seniors now so we're kind of like the top dogs but you know you obviously you come over from the elementary and everything what would you say would be your highlighted memory of your junior high years um, oh gosh I don't know I had a lot of fun times um, the last dance of like the junior high was like ninth grade it was a lot of fun because we all like stood in a circle and 
um, you know, sang to each other, and so that was fun. One of my fears was being one of the youngest in the high school and possibly getting stuffed in a locker or in a garbage can. It's, it's one of the most fears I had. So uh, my favorite or like most memorable junior high moment is uh, in Watson's class. I was sitting there and I decided I was going to stick a paper clip in uh, his light socket and it went boom. And like I burnt a permanent line in my hand for like a week and best part, he didn't even realize it happened. What was your favorite junior high memory? Uh, well, man, that's tough. There were so many great memories, you know, and everyone just loved me in junior high, so it was just a great time all around. But uh, probably my favorite memory had to be when um, I was in Miss Haino's English class, right? And it was 10th period, end of the day. And uh, we had an assignment where, like, everyone had to read papers to the class, and then we would, you know, critique them and stuff. And I was very um, into the critiquing aspect of it because I'm just a hateful person, you know? And, um, well, Caleb Recall goes up to read her paper, and um, just a little backstory. Uh, I used to make fun of her for being short because she was really short, you know? Still is, actually, but she was really short then, you know? So um, what happened was she gets up to read her paper, and it was terrible, too. It was probably the worst paper I've ever heard in my entire life, and I've heard a lot of papers, let me tell you. And um, so, yeah, once she gets done reading it, I'm critiquing it. I can on for, like, five minutes. And then at the end, I say, and lastly, it was too short. And then she just starts bawling her eyes out. And then everyone in the class high-fived me, <laughs> including Ms. Hato. And then they just, they carry me out. And Kayla just stays there crying her eyes out. And it was great. And then ever since then, everyone loved me. So it was a good moment. Um, I think my favorite junior high memory was the time Adam got beat up by David Galloway. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. Look at me, look at me, hands in the air like it's good to be alive. But I'm a famous rapper, even when the paths are all crooked. -y. I can show you how to do-si-do, -si -do. I can show you how to scratch a record. I can take apart the remote control, and I can almost put it back together. I can tie a knot in the cherry stem, I can tell you about Lee Ferrickson. I know all the words to De Colores, and I'm proud to be an American. Me and my friends are platypus, me and my friend made a comic book. And guess how long it took, I can't do anything that I want. Cause look, I can keep rhythm with no metronome. No metronome, no metronome And I can see your face on the telephone On the telephone, on the telephone Look at me, look at me Just called to say that it's good to be alive In such a small world, I'm all curled up with a book to read I can make money, open up a thrift store I can make a living off a magazine I can design an engine 64 miles to a gallon of gasoline I can make new antibiotics I can make computers survive aquatic conditions I know how to run the business And I can make you want to buy a product Movers, shakers, and producers Me and my friends understand the future I see the strings that control the system I can do anything with no resistance Cause I can lead a nation with a microphone with a microphone, with a microphone And I can split the atom of a molecule Of a molecule, of a molecule Drive 
Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. All right, so today, uh, James, best uh, facial hair, hair duo uh, core. Can you go get Bob Breedlove doing the resurrecting the bull riding career? Everybody will love that. And um, what are you doing here, Kush? Thought I was invited. Not true, buddy. Just counting. I really don't feel really good. May I lay down? Well, you could, but Tanner's going to be here any minute. Miss Callum, I don't feel very good. I'm going to have to lay down. You okay right. with that? All, All right. right. Nope. H1N1 safe. There we go. All right. Sweet. Any beds open? Yours. Okay, good. Aw, oh, Ben. I'd like to make a motion to approve the two. I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my love, love's going to leave. What you doing, boy? <laughs> what are you doing, boy? <laughs> <laughs> nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain! You won most sarcastic. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled. <laughs> you guys won Best Movie Maker? Oh, yes! Did you read Captain Underpants and the Perilous Plot of Poop, uh, Professor Booby Pants? Yeah, like eight years ago. I got this. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. I got the answers too right here. Alright, check out this question right here. I think it's C, Peanut Covered Robots. Peanut Covered Robots? Yeah, Peanut Covered Robots. Alright. What about this one? I forget. Is the Flushomatic 5000. Flushomatic 5000? Yeah. A? A new technology and toilet cleaning and equipment. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Hey, thanks, man. You're welcome. I'm wearing a V-neck. Um, I think this project or video is stupid and it's going to be really bad and it's just no one's going to like it and I'm not probably going to watch it because it's going to be really stupid because it's just, it, yeah. <laughs>
Wait, how many times do I have to tell you to leave it? Why oh, is it so quiet in here? Oh, you're making a scene. Stop touching me. Stop. 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 All right, Jeff, uh, we hear you're pretty good at changing your voice around to Absolutely sound like uh, okay, several different people. Uh, I heard there's a Kazakhstan voice, so you... Uh, Show us that one. The one I use on Mr. Jobs? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm here with Miss Jobs, and we are discussing important topics going on in the world today, like what color shoes she is wearing and what brand designer clothes she has on, <laughs> things of that nature. Okay. Um, next one, uh, I guess we can call it we, the, the Jordan Jacobson voice. You're very good at this one. Yo, if you guys, like, give me a dollar, I'll, like, eat this baseball. You guys like dare me to eat this baseball? <laughs> All right. And, um, oh, The Godfather. That's a good one, too, right? You come to me when you're down and hurt, and you look at me and you say, I need some money. But I tell you, you had your chance, and you ran away from a perfect opportunity. <laughs> All right, Jeff, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it done? Okay. If you come with me, we are going to talk to the greatest teacher in the world, Miss Hobbs. Come on, come see. Oh, look who it is. Miss Hobbs, a quick question. Excuse, 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 excuse. I have a quick question for you. Picture frame. Picture frame. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? That's Brandon. Look, it's Brandon. Look, this everybody loves Brandon. Brandon. He is Brandon. Very good for Miss Jobs. Yes, question. What is this Prada shoe? Prada shoe. Brand no, Prada. No. Okay. No. So one more question. Like, what's I'm I'm asked to wear you. What are you wearing right now? What brand? I don't know. How do you not know? I not know. Yes, <laughs> Jobs. Uh, you want to do okay. so One, one weather? more thing. How is, How, the is the weather? Weather? How is the weather? How is the weather? We make it rain here. Way. How is the weather? How is the weather? Hey. You're on camera Let's now. Okay. Okay. Let's come here. We are going to talk to Fort Cherries on Miss Miss Jobs. Miss Jobs, I have I have a few questions for you. I me Kevin are wondering, what is your favorite type of soup? My what? Favorite type of soup? soup. Tomato. Tomato okay, soup. He gave us question. What was it like coming from Kazakhstan do here when you were little? Little girl. <laughs> Wait, Miss Hobbs. <laughs> come on, Miss Hobbs. Miss Hobbs, one more question. Sorry for wasting your time. Miss Hobbs, what is your favorite type of tape? My scotch tape and my shoe. Where's my This hold on. Where is this? Yeah. Look, where did it go? Does anyone that take? That there we go. The little shoe tape. Miss Jones, how much did this cost? <laughs> American? American? Yeah. Kevin, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Kevin, another question. Will you marry Josh? Oh, hey, want me to ask you. Already. Josh wants to be your husband. If you want to be his wife, Miss Yobes. <coughs> we can have to. <laughs> <Not. Yeah. laughs> we can pull strings and make it work. <laughs> <laughs> this better be on something. <laughs> So, on one hand, this may appear to be just a blade of grass, but on a completely different level, it does reveal another dimension of time. 
I wanna grow some facial hair so freaking bad. Grow out a goatee just like my dad. I wanna grow me a full man too. Something. I swear that weren't my snuff in the water fountain. You don't have a pass? Office. What's your name? Keep fight, keep all the pretty girls stand up. All the pretty boys stand Sweet. up. Pretty boys in the building. This right here is my sway. Sway. Come on, get it! Woo! That boy! How oh, bad you want that twinkie? Let's go! Let's go! There you go! Woo! Come on, Josh! Push it! Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on. Yee-haw! Snake, I know what my grade is. You have a 27F. Are you kidding me? What up, miss? Everything. My name is Denim Dixon. My name is Denim Durrell. He's pounded down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? Are we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'm East Pound, just like a bandit run. Keep 
you put part on the pedal Some tell my mind them breaks Let it all hang out cause we gotta run to make The boys are thirsty in Atlanta And there's beer in Texarkana And we'll bring it back no matter what it takes He's bound and down, loaded up and trucking Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go And a short time to get there I'm eastbound, just watch your bandit run Are we gonna do what they say can't be done? We've got a long way to go And a short time to get there I'm eastbound to watch your bandit run Old Smokey's got them ears on He's hot on your trail And he ain't gonna rest till you're in jail So you got to dodge him, you got to duck him You gotta keep that diesel trucking Just put that hammer down and give it hell So I've been asked to uh, say some encouraging words and some nice memories about this year's graduating senior class. I would have to say that, uh, in a nutshell, this class has been one of the more entertaining ones that I've ever taught and had the uh, privilege to have in my actual room. They uh, were always full of energy, lots of wit, lots of, uh, lots of humor with these guys and girls. Uh, it may be one of the last times that ever I can ever really realistically give you know some video projects for some of the English stuff we do and really get in some high quality entertaining stuff that those kids just you know you guys really love to do. Athletically, this class has been almost bar none one of the most athletic classes that I've ever been a part of. Not just as a coach with the track team, but uh, even just following some of the athletes through their football careers, wrestling careers, and the basketball career of the ladies uh, that are seniors of this class. It's been a lot of fun to be a teacher here and, you know, a fan of Fort Cherry and follow those athletic teams over the last couple of years and culminating with your senior year and the medals you won and the uh, triumphs and achievements that you guys had. It was, it was a lot of fun to really follow that, and it's going to be missed, especially as a coach. Uh, the graduating class, a lot of seniors graduating from the track team this year are, are going to be greatly missed. I guess best words of advice would be to uh, always believe in what you do no matter how far you go away and no matter what great things you do, always remember this place and, you know, what the people here did for you and how they molded you. And I look forward to being friends with you on Facebook the day you graduate. Take care. Oh, hey, guys, good to see you. Hey, I wanted to just talk to you before you uh, took off out of here. Have a seat. Let me talk to you a second. You know, uh, it's a crazy time of the year, huh? You guys getting ready to graduate, move on, bigger and better things. And uh, you're probably going through all this crazy stuff. I just wanted to let you know, you know, that uh, don't be afraid. You guys are ready. You know, the school and the community, they've, they've worked really hard to, to help you grow. And, and you guys, with all the things that you've done artistically and athletically and academically, you're ready to go do great things. And I just want to let you know we're all really proud of you here. And uh, we can't wait to see what comes next from you guys. So good luck. Go do some good things. Take care. Good luck to the class of 2012. I would like to wish the class of 2012 luck with their future endeavors. Um, it's a great class. It's the first class that I had the opportunity to teach here at Fort Cherry. Highly motivated class, very competitive, tight-knit group. Um, one memory that I do have is whenever I coached eighth grade basketball, I remember um, Troy Cook um, hitting a shot at the buzzer and we were able to um, beat Northgate. 
once again, good luck, seniors. Wish you all the best. Take care. My memories of the class of 2012 are that you guys have been a very special group to me. Um, you're full of a lot of students who are very intelligent, a lot of students who are athletic, and it has a lot of great memories. I wish you all the best, and I'll miss many of you. What do I remember about the senior class? Um, I had them as seventh graders five years ago, and uh, I could tell back then that they were definitely special. Uh, this class is so talented in so many ways. Uh, athletically, academically, artistically, it's just a special class. I really mean that. It's one for the ages. Um, I think it's like a once, I've heard some other teachers say it's a once in a career, once in a career class. Like I think you can teach for 30 years and the class of 2012 I think would definitely stand out. So, and I've definitely noticed that this school year, uh, just going to a couple different things, it's just a very special class. And it's, uh, I'm proud to have had a small part in their high school career, really. Senior class is awesome. Hey, we're going to miss you 2012. Bye. Hi. I have some fantastic memories about this graduating class. Very warm, fun memories, especially our lively discussions in English. Right from the get-go, they proved themselves to be exceptional and helped me achieve my national board certification. So I'll never forget that, and I'm grateful for that. And we had many other fun moments at student council and conferences that we d attended and put on here at Ford Chair. Couldn't have done it without our senior officers, and they were Sammy Lodge, Rachel Simmons, Margo Dara, uh, Joey Prashina was involved. But they, those were big endeavors, and they were a wonderful group of kids. And then fun memories, our little study hall, little six-person study hall. And they did everything from play cards to watch many, many movies. And, uh, and they were just a great group of kids. So I'll miss you. Miss you all. Good luck. And don't forget the fort. Don't forget your roots. Good luck. Thanks. I'll miss you guys. I don't want you to leave. I'm serious. I liked your class. It made me sad. All right. It's gonna ring any second. Yeah. No, it rings at it two oh two eleven. Okay. Hi guys, I just wanted to say good luck in the future and uh, remember all the fun things you did in high school, the fun classes, the fun study halls, the pranks in the halls, the things you did to each other. Um, remember your friends. You're gonna move on and make new friends, but enjoy the stuff that you did here um, and use it hopefully uh, as your future um, you'll, you'll know how to be uh, hopefully you learned enough here at Fort Cherry that prepares you for your future good luck okay congratulations class of 2012 lots of good memories with you guys um, I'm sure you remember football and uh, you need uh, you need a jailbreak real bad. It ain't rocket science. And let's see, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey seniors, class of 2012. This is my farewell. Um, I actually have a list of some things that I'd like to say. Um, first of all, you uh, class of 2012 is the first and last class I ever had as uh, seventh graders with a class called Skills B. And I remember uh, a doubles chess tournament that we played together, teaching some of you how to play chess, some of you knew how, some of you didn't. But that was very entertaining. I guess uh, the, the cool part about it, though, is that I actually can envision what you all look like very as very small people, which I think may have played a role in why some of this video was shot the way that it was. I remember uh, teaching you about Chicken McNuggets, uh, McDonald's French fries. Um, more importantly, um, during that year, 2007, May 3rd, that was when my first son Christ Christian was born, when I had you as seventh graders. So I'll probably, I'll probably never have seventh graders again 
and you are my last group of seventh graders. Um, and then, oddly enough, two and a half years later, two to two and a half years later, I had you as sophomores, obviously, and that was when um, my second and last son, Charlie, was born, November 11th. So the fact that I had you in my lives when some of the best parts of my life were happening at the same time was pretty uh, meaningful and magical to me. Um, what do I remember from you being sophomores? I remember a couple of things that we did in class that we don't, that I don't ask students really to do anymore. I remember uh, during Halloween having you write and or think about and and story tell uh, Halloween stories, creative story ideas, and I remember some of those kind of blew my mind and I thought they were brilliant. Um, I remember having the premeditated idea to have you do music videos because I knew some of you for a long period of time. I remember doing music videos. Uh, I remember Megan. Um, I remember Drops of Jupiter. I remember Clocks and even um, Mad World is something I still use to this day. I don't ask students to do music videos anymore. Uh, what else? I remember Music Mondays started with your class and now they'll probably go on uh, to eternity. Um, and I even remember being so comfortable with, with you as students uh, and just excited to teach because of how open-minded you were as students that um, I even remember telling you about a story where I was in the bathroom, I thought I had to fart, and I half pooped myself. Uh, just a little bit though, just a little bit of poop. Not even poop, really solidified poop, more of a you know, you've been there, I'm sure. Um, and then, ironically enough, right, then what happens is two years later, I, found that I find out over the summertime that I'm the media teacher and I'm, I am now uh, taking over as Mr. Shankle's replacement. So obviously everybody thought that was laughable and a big joke. And I admit to the fact that I was a bit apprehensive for a while, but then the idea comes to me and some other seniors, obviously, that we can make you a senior video and just so you know, we won't be making a video like this for all seniors. Um, that's not going to happen. So, um, shoot, cut. I wanted to make you, you guys a video kind of to express my gratitude and appreciation for you kind of being in my lives. Um, and this is my way of expressing that gratitude. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, and that I never did take you for granted. As a matter of fact, I can prove that I never took you for granted if you just come over here for a minute because this isn't planted in here, but in this bottom drawer right here, I have a folder called Joy, and your class is called the Folder of Joy. And inside of the folder, and this isn't, this is all just randomness. If you remember, you did these evaluations for me where you talked about everything we did in class, the Music Monday list, and then you've probably forgotten, you may not even remember, but at the bottom, even at that time, I was actually kind of sad about you leaving. So now that the time has come to say goodbye, there's just one more thing I'd like to ask you to do. So I also remember having you in class and thinking and telling you a story about um, a pact that my friends and I had. And the pact had a lot to do with um, that whenever this one song came on, we all agreed as friends because it was something that we used to dance and get down to and celebrate with that we'd all dance if we ever heard the song in public. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. So consequently, now that I perceive a lot of you as friends opposed to just simply students, um, if, if nobody has any oppositions, I think that if you would like to join this cult of around the world, um, I think now would be probably the appropriate time to do so. So I think I... I think I might hear it right now, actually. So, I guess I have to, right?
próximamente voy a ir a, a México, me regreso a México porque no sé si voy a ir a la universidad aquí. Voy a ir a la Universidad de Guanajuato y por, probablemente voy a ir a, a, la, a, a vivir en México todo el tiempo y no, puedo, no creo regresar más que para visitar. Air Force. I'm going to PTI for multimedia. I'm going for... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to Penn State Beaver for two years, transferring to University Park for psychology. I'm going to Penn State Beaver for two years and switching over to Maine. Oh. I'm planning to go to CCAC and then transfer to Carlo for psychology and business. I don't have your number. English first. <laughs> All right, so I don't know really what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go to a university down at the um, state I used to live down in Mexico. It's called uh, the, uh, La Universidad de Guanajuato, which is the university of the state. And I'm probably going to end up living my whole life in Mexico, but then I'll come back and visit over here. You're in the Robert Morris University for the Peter Burke. I'm going to Washington, Jefferson. While participating in Air Force ROTC. Okay. Okay. I'm attending Bowling Green State University where I plan to major in secondary education. There you go. Um, going to the University of Pittsburgh for computer sciences and pre-law. Okay. I'm enlisting in the Air National Guard and attending the University of Pittsburgh at Titusville. What am I supposed to say? Plans after high school. I will be attending the University of Youngstown State. My major will be business. I plan on going to North Greenville University and majoring in communications. Okay, I am not. I am not Schwab. My plans after high school. Schools that I might be. That my plans are the. It's a try to get attend to a flight school so I can learn how to fly airplanes. But then might become a flight attendant. Then when then when you come to the airports, both across the United States. AC. I'm going to CCAC to probably be a graphic designer. I'm going to California University of Pennsylvania. I'm going to Slippery Rock for exercise science. I'm going to Penn State University for engineering. I'm going to Cal U for secondary education. I am moving to Haiti to be a carpenter. W and J, and I'm undecided. I am going to Washington Jefferson College, majoring in engineering. Uh, I'm planning on going to CCAC for my core credits, RMU for my major, and then Pitt for medical school. All uh, right, I'm going to University Park, Penn State for biology. I'm going to Penn State University Park, probably for history. I was already here and did this. I'm going to Penn State for mechanical engineering. Doubt it. We're all going to Penn State University Park. Yeah. Rock University. Knows where I'm going. If they don't, I'm gonna say it again. I'm going to Robert Morris for sport management and minor marketing. If you want to know the reason, just come and ask me why I'm going. Well, for the longest time, I wanted to move to. Well, for the longest time, I wanted to move to Somalia to become a pirate. But after many years, it was also after. Oh my God. Well, for many years, I wanted to move to Somalia to become a pirate. But after many years of soul searching, I've decided to move to Haiti to become a carpenter. I'm going to the University of Pittsburgh. Hi, Adam. D. Robert Morris University. I plan on attending the military and then going to Robert Morris. Wake Forest University. Going to Clarion University. RMU. Penn State Beaver. Bethany College. Okay. Air Force. Miami Bryce. Rob Morris University. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Duquesne for international relations. And then. 
I'm going to Carnegie Mellon University and majoring in mechanical engineering. Hi, I'm John, and after high school, I'm going to Full Sail University for um, music engineering and production. Is it on? Me. Okay, I'm attending La Roche College in the fall, majoring in graphic design. <laughs> Teal College for psychology. Um, after high school, I plan to work on the gas wells as a dozer or track hill operator. I might go to Mac uh, Motorcycle Mechanics Institute in Florida, undecided yet. We're going to Slippery Rock University for safety management. Athletic training. Well. I'm going to Slippery Rock, and I'm going for safety management. <laughs> I'm going to Kent State, and I'm going to study architecture. My name is Joe Schmo, and I'll be attending the School of Hard Knocks. Now? <laughs> do I go again? Should I go? <laughs> I'm going to do... Uh, hold on, I have to say that again. Clarion University, and I'm studying nursing. I'm going to the United States Naval Academy. <laughs> Seton Hill University for musical theater. I'm going to go to work and then go to school. And to Bethany College majoring in animal therapy and special education. The cry because it's over, smell like it happened. Darkest country road and the strong scent of evergreen from the passenger seat as you are driving me home. Then looking upwards, I strain. between shooting stars and satellites from the passenger seat as you are driving me home.
passing afternoon. Summer warm the open window of her honeymoon, and she chose a yard to burn, but the ground remembers her. Wooden spoons, her children stir. Bougainvillea blooms. There are things that drift away, like our endless number day. Autumn blue, the quilt ride of the perfect bed she made, and she's chosen to believe. Ships that pass on our bodies in the grass. Springtime calls her children till she lets them go at last, and she's chosen where to be, though she's lost her. Your child.